guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, Kaylee, Darius, and I are in Minneapolis to do a photo shoot and to take a photo, retake a photo that I took a couple of years ago that did not turn out. So, let's go explore.
this part of Minneapolis is really cool. There's, well, it's also ruins in the heart of the city. There's a lot of deep, rich history in this part. This used to be a flour factory. Down here, I don't really remember exactly what this part was, but up there, there was a flour factory where it produced flour. It's actually put, the factory put Minneapolis, Minnesota on the map. But one day, sadly, the mill blew up. This is kind of crazy. Oh, another cool thing is that that bridge right there, Stone Arch Bridge, which is really mo the most well-known thing in Minnesota, used to be a railroad, and it was converted into a, a pedestrian bridge. A lot of cool, rich history. If you guys want to know more about the history of Minneapolis, on my photography account Instagram, I post about all the history that goes with my pictures. We are finished with Mill Ruins Park, and now we are going to head to the 3rd Avenue Bridge. That is the uh, mill that I was talking to you guys about that blew up. And now it's a Mill City Museum. So you can actually go into the mill and get some photo shoot pictures or weddings or just to see what it looks like on the inside. So here's more of the ruins. So this would be a, either a building or a wall of some sort. For the last couple of videos I've been doing, it's been cloudy, which is my favorite kind of thing. I love cloudy days. So my last thing, this is my fourth video, has been cloudy. Minneapa State Park, Como, and the fish sunflower fields, those are out of order. But those are the videos that I've done that's been cloudy. Not sure why, but that's that's Darius' favorite building in Minneapolis. You know what? You're my favorite building out of it. <laughs> Shows my how good my memory is. Um, that bridge right there is where I want, I want is where I'm going to redo my picture from 2017. But forgot that there's no stairs from the down here to lead up to it, so we have to walk up this to in like into the city to get to the entrance of that bridge. Well, that sucks. This is the bridge where I get my picture from. It's kind of upsetting because this bridge is not open until 2023. I guess I'll come back in three years to take retake this picture. So it's kind of like uh, it'll take me six years to retake this picture. Right here. This is the spot for that picture. 
All right, guys. If you want to see me redeem this picture, come back in three years. So something to be noted is that in Minneapolis, three bridges are closing down in 2020. Number, bridge number one, Stone Arch Bridge. That bridge will be closing down in 2020 and there's no exact date they'll reopen. This bridge, the Third Avenue Bridge, is closing this year as well. And this bridge will be reopened in 2023. And then the 10th Avenue Bridge, which will be reopening in 2021. Tip of the day, number seven. The best time to shoot any kind of pictures is on cloudy days, because you get that neutral lighting, neutral everything. There's no harsh lighting, no harsh shadows. It's just perfect. That or go towards uh, more towards sunset where the lighting's not as harsh. But the harsh lighting also brings overexposed photos. So the best way to fix that overexposed photos if you do go out during harsh lighting, is to get a CPL filter and a ND filter. If you guys want me to explain about those filters are, then comment down below and my next video I'll explain them. If you guys are going by YouTube and how easy it is to film, it's not. This right here is my third try to say the same, to say it's one thing. If you've never been to Minneapolis before, it's a definite must stop or must go to place. It is beautiful no matter what time of year you come here. Um, a lot to do, definitely not during the quarantine, but besides quarantine, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Explore a lot of different like nature parks or buildings you go into, or just anything really. It's a lot to do. And I'll do my best in future videos when we come here to explore more of Minneapolis to show you guys what Minneapolis Min what Minneapolis has to offer. I didn't know that you can do horse carriage rides in Minneapolis. How cool is that? It was a lot of fun getting some cool pictures. Sadly, the bridge is closed, not the walking part of the bridge is closed, so sadly I couldn't get my picture. So in three years, I'll come back and retake that picture. Um, so it would actually take me six years to retake this one picture. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what were your favorite pictures. If you've ever been to Minneapolis, I would love to hear your experience. Let me know what you guys thought of the city. Let me know also down in the comments what parks that's within two hours of the Twin Cities we should explore next and when two hours within Wisconsin from Minnesota. Until next time, see ya. Bye. Bye.